Hi students, welcome again to Maths YouTube channel, Maths Insights. So we are continuing to solve the problems in exercise 10.1 of the chapter straight lines in class 11. Today's question is, see this question is number three. Okay, what they are asking, find the distance between the two points P and Q whose coordinates are X1, Y1 and x2 y2 see they have given you conditions one is when pq is parallel to the y axis when this line is parallel to y axis you have to find distance between these two points p and q and the second case is you have to find its distance when pq is parallel to y axis it's very simple but it will somewhat confusing every student but i will make it very easy my dear students okay so i have taken axis coordinate axis the horizontal one is called x axis so you may write it as x x dash right so this is x dash this is positive x axis on the right hand side and negative x axis on left hand side in upper side you have positive y axis means we will mark only positive numbers and and the downside of x-axis, you will have negative y-axis. See, you have to take, you have to take two points, P and Q. Find the distance between P and Q when the line is parallel to y-axis. Means, you may take any line like this. See, let it be P whose coordinates are x1, y1. And let it be Q whose coordinates are x2, y2. You may take this line here also. This is also said to be parallel to y axis x1, y1 and Q, x2, y2. You know that the distance between any two points, suppose if you have two points A and B whose coordinates are x1, y1, then the distance between them, you already learned that. Now we are finding the distance between P and Q, that is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square units. See, this is a distance, that's why you have to write units x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. You may take x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2 also. Means difference of x coordinates square plus difference of y coordinates square. Why? Because since there is a square, it will become positive even you subtract x2 minus x1 and you will get negative. So in this case, this is the line See, in this case you have to observe carefully this is what this is actually value of the x coordinate that means distance of the pq from y axis this is denoted by the coordinate x1 here also x2 what do you observe this distance is equals to this distance means you may understand that value of x1 is equals to x2. Therefore, I am writing pq is equals to square root of x2 minus x2. In place of x1, I am writing x2. Why? Because that pq is equally away from y-axis. And you have to write y2 minus y1 whole square as it is. This is units. Continue that. That implies to PQ is equals to, I'm changing the color. This will become a zero plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. On simplifying this, you will get PQ is equals to Y2 minus Y1 whole square, square root of. Then if you cancel square and square root, you will get Y2 minus Y1. That implies to PQ is equals to my dear students Y2 minus Y1 
See, sometimes y2 may be greater or sometimes y1 may be greater. Means whenever y2 is less when compared to y1, you will get a negative value. So distance will never become negative. Therefore, to make it positive, we will place them that y2 minus y1 in multiples. So this is the distance between P and Q when PQ is parallel to y-axis. Similarly, we will solve in the same manner when PQ is parallel to x-axis also. I am erasing uh, this P and Q taking parallel to y-axis. I am taking the same PQ when it is parallel to when it is parallel to x-axis. See, I am taking this is P and this is Q. You may take the same PQ here also. This is P, this is Q. The coordinates of P or x1, y1 as they have given and this is x2, y2. Similarly, I am solving the problem as before. Square root of PQ is equals to, in this case also. You have to write formula first. You have to recite the formula uh, many number of times. Then it will be in your mind for a longer time, my dear students, y2 minus y1 whole square. In this case, this is equally away from x-axis. You have to observe. This is equally away from y because it is parallel means the perpendicular distance between at any point between these PQ and X axis is same. Means Y1, this distance is measured on Y axis. You have to understand that, students. So Y2 is equals to Y1. And you may have any values for X1 and X2, whatever the values they have given. You will substitute them in the formula x2 minus x1. That's why I'm writing as it is plus y2 minus y2 in place of y1 also I'm writing y2 square. These are units keep in our mind since distance is measured in units. They may be in centimeters or meters or whatever the units may be. So square root of x2 minus x1 whole square. Since this is 0, that is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square. Means PQ is equals to, I am taking another color for this for better appearance. Okay. So if you cancel the square and square root, then you will get x2 minus x1. As I said in the previous one, x2 may be lesser when compared to x1 or x1 may be lesser when compared to x2. Means you may get negative value if you write x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 also. So to make it positive, we will place this x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 in modulus. Therefore, you will get positive value for that. PQ is equals to modulus of x2 minus x1 units. So this is the way how to solve the problem. I think it's very easy. Now we will go to the next problem. So next problem is actually what it says. It's very easy one. Next one is, say I'm going to the next one. Uh, see, this is the next one, actually, what it says. Hmm. Problem. I will erase all this, uh, whatever we sold. Okay. Problem number four says, see, this is problem number four. Problem number four says that I'm taking another color. Find the find a point on x-axis. 
which is equidistant from two points 7 comma 6 and 3 comma 4. It's very easy question really. So I'm writing solution. So I will take white color. This is y axis you know and this is x axis. Find a point on x axis. You have to understand that any point on x axis contain its y coordinate as 0. So I am letting a point. Let any point. Let any point on x axis is equals to. You will assume this as x comma 0 you have to find the value of x they're asking find a point means you have to find x comma 0 already 0 is there not required to find anything if you find the value of x then that is enough you can say what is the point on x axis which is equally away from 7 comma 6 and 3 comma 4 let the points let the given points I'm taking, let the given points is equals to A is equals to let 7 comma 6 and I'm taking, I'm naming the second one as 3 comma 4. Let the first one C, let. Okay, as per the problem, what they have given you as per the problem, They are saying that which are equidistance means what is the meaning of equidistance students? Equidistance means equal distance. This point C is equally away from point A and B. Therefore, you may write it as AC is equals to BC means distance between A and C is equals to distance between B and C. C. Okay. So we know the formula. What is the formula for finding distance between any two points? This uh, difference of x coordinates whole square plus difference of y coordinates whole square square root of. See, if you find the coordinate, uh, the distance between A and C, you have to take this point and this point. So you have to take difference of x coordinates, means 7 minus x whole square. So 7 minus x whole square, I'm writing. And uh, then difference of y coordinate, 6 minus 0 plus 6 minus 0 whole square is equals to distance between B and C. What is the point B, 3 comma 4, and C is x comma 0. Similarly, you have to take difference of x coordinates, means 3 minus x whole square, 3 minus x whole square similarly 4 minus a 0 whole square if you write this step then the problem is over i'm removing square root on both sides we may do uh, equal actions on both sides then this will become 7 minus x whole square plus 6 square 6 minus 0 is 6 only and uh, this is 3 minus x whole square plus 4 square. Okay, students, that implies to 7 minus x whole square. This can be expanded by using the formula a minus b whole square. a square means 7 square minus 2ab, 2 into 7 into x, 2ab plus b square, x square. And uh, 6 square, you know, that is 36. That is equals to, similarly, you have to use the identity a minus b whole square. That is a square minus 2a b plus b square. And this 4 square gives you 16. That implies to 7 square is 49 minus 7 to the 14x plus x square plus 36. These are simple algebraic calculations, students. Uh, but when you are doing this type of problems, you have to be concentrated. Otherwise, uh, you may do some calculations wrong. 3 square is 9. 2 3 is a 6x plus x square plus 16. On both sides, you have x square. You may cancel that. So, I cancel that. Now, 
What happens? 36 plus 49. 36 plus 49 will give you 85. So 85 minus, okay, 14x is equal. So similarly in this way, 9 plus 16 will give you 25 minus 6x. I am uh, drawing a line here. After this, you have to write now taking x on both sides, uh, one side and the numbers to one side. See, minus 14x, I will take this minus 14x to that side. This minus 14x to the y because this is a bigger number and if you make it positive value, then it is uh, somewhat easy for you. Now, I will take this 25 this side. Then the problem will become very easy. So, 85 minus 25. My plus 25 will become minus 20. Similarly, this minus 14x will become plus 14x and minus 6x will remain as it is. So, this 85 minus 25 will give you 60. 60 is equal to what? This is 8x. So, 14 minus 6x, 8x. Therefore, x value is equal to 60 divided by 8. If you cancel with the 4, 4 to the 8, 4 15 za. That is equal to 15 by 2. Don't stop after uh, finding x value. Our, our, our work is not over. Therefore, required point is equal to what you assumed the point. The point, point is equal to you assumed it as x comma 0 and you got x value as 15 by 2. Therefore, I am writing 15 by 2 comma 0. This is the point which is equally away from two points 7 comma 6 and 3 comma 4. My dear students, I hope that this video is helpful to you. If you think like that, please don't, uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it whoever are needy of this type of videos. We'll meet again in the next video. Until then, take care. Thank you.